Welcome to this video on input tables. Think of input tables as live spreadsheets built directly in Sigma. So instead of your data floating around in random files, it's stored securely in your cloud warehouse. That means it's always up to date, always available, and easy to use in analysis. To create an input table, click Input on the Add Element bar and select what kind of input table you're looking for and the connection Sigma should use to write to your warehouse. For now, we'll cover empty and CSVs, and we'll do linked input tables in a different video. An empty input table lets you start fresh with a blank table and manually add columns. Once your table is set up, click the plus sign to add your columns, such as text, numbers, dates, and checkboxes. Then start entering your data. You can even use formulas and aggregations just like any other data element in Sigma. If you already have data, Select Upload a CSV to create an input table with the same structure. A few things to keep in mind when using input tables. One, connections matter. If you want to combine this data with other sources, they'll need to be on the same connection because Sigma enforces security settings at the connection level. Two, data validation is your friend. Use dropdowns sourced from other columns or manually add lists to keep entries clean and consistent. Three, Edit modes. Tables can be edited in one of two workbook modes. The first mode, draft mode, is great for development or tables that only need occasional updates. And second, publish mode, which is for user-facing interactions. Input tables make Sigma so much more than just a place to analyze data. They make interacting with your data an ongoing process, creating a seamless loop from data to action. Whether you're logging updates, tracking forecasts, or capturing real-time inputs, they're a powerful way to bring your data workflows to life.